Hey everybody. On one of my other videos, I brought up a behavioral chain. It is a very simple tool, uh, one of many tools that we can utilize to help us change our behaviors that we just do not like anymore, um, or help us examine them a little bit better to understand maybe in the end, why are we acting the way we're acting? Especially if it seems irrational for the situation that we were put in. But there's two types or two ways to do look at behavioral chains. Either you look at them as an issue that has already occurred. So you've already put yourself in a situation um, and you had an outcome that maybe you didn't like at all. And some of these, like when I see teens or adults um, who have had criminal backgrounds, <clears throat> then this is more of their risky behaviors that they're looking at. So that's one subset of people um, <clears throat> is, you know, when you get, I think I mentioned this, when you get invited to a club with somebody in the last video, or when you go, you're on social media and you're bored. So you get on social media and then there's ads that we don't need to be clicking on, especially for teenagers. Um, and then you click on them because you want those positive feelings that are associated with those sites that we go to. Or, you know, you just, you're hanging out with friends and the situation is they are drinking or smoking weed and you find yourself in that risky situation. And so we go through that in that way. So that's one way where the situation has already happened. It's occurred. You've had the outcome that you don't like at all. Um, and so we dissect that a little bit. We talk about what led up to that situation where we got put in that situation. Or if you're seeing me for a criminal behavior, then we talk about past situations. So it's not just one, maybe that you put yourself in that week, but it's what situations have we put ourselves in in the past and how has that brought us to where we are today? Um, because if we, there's one thing to live in the present moment all the time because you should be living in the present moment. But if we cannot go back and dissect some of our past and understand some of our past, we are not going to be able to change the present moment, which will not allow us to change the future. So there is really a balance between present moment, past and future. And so then the other way we can look at behavioral chains is we can look at it as preemptive. Um, I want to say strife, but that's not the right word, but just a preemptive behavior. I think that would be the right word to utilize. So what situations would we find ourselves in during the week that, or on a weekend that would be situations we don't want to be in, right? So if we know that our friends go out all the time and we find ourselves in a situation where we're getting a text for that what can we do to change that outcome? You know, you have choices. You can use the excuse, especially if you're a teenager or if you're married, um, that, you know, your partner or your parents already have you booked for something. So you can't go. Or if you're single, you can just say, oh, I've already made plans. Uh, maybe hit me up next time. And that way you don't have to explain why you don't want to go out and party, but it's just a way to alleviate that pressure. And then from there, how does that feel, right? What are your thoughts associated with the fact that you don't have to go out and do those things if you don't want to do those things? Um, we can literally change our behavior every day when we wake up to the time we go to bed where we can get new outcomes. And the behavioral chain is just one of those ways to help us with that. It's one tool of many that we utilize as therapists or coaches can utilize it as well. Um, and I really like the simplicity of it and how it can break down everything for us and how we can really look at where we put ourselves or where we are going to put ourselves in and what can our thoughts be with that? What's our situation? And this could be really helpful when the holidays come up again. You know, the holidays aren't here yet, but a lot of us put ourselves in situations in the holidays, well, I guess Easter's coming up, where we do not want to be around the people we're around, or we put ourselves in those situations anyways, and then we react 
badly. Um, so if you do a quick behavioral chain, then you have these new thoughts and these new feelings sitting in the back of your mind waiting to be used because you have gone over them already. And really the, the best way to have the future you want is to be prepared. Um, being prepared helps you to go down the path you want to go down and can help you stay on the path. Doesn't mean you'll get off the path sometimes because we do that, but it helps us stay on the path where we need to. So check out a behavioral chain, see if you like it, drop in the comments below if, um, if you find it interesting at all, or if you've used one. And then also drop in the comments below, let me know what subject matters is, are interesting for you when it comes to changing our behaviors, parenting tips, um, relationship goals, you know, career goals, all those things. I would love to talk about them. So hit me up. Hope you guys have a great Sunday.